nice to meet you. I'm Stacy. In this video, we're going to go over how to customize your brand new WordPress site that we just set up in the previous video. If you haven't set up your site yet, go back and watch my other video that explains how to set up a WordPress site without any coding. In this video, I'll walk you through picking a new theme, specifically the Sydney theme, and then customizing it to look as you wish. First, we'll log into your site and choose a new theme. First, copy the password from your HostGator WordPress welcome email. Make a note of your username. Next, enter your domain name slash wp-admin to get to the login page. Then enter the username from the email and the password from the email and click login to log into your site. Now we're looking at the main dashboard. Think of this as your home base. Now click Appearance and then click Themes to choose a new theme. Now you can scroll down the page and click Add New Theme. You can choose from any of the featured themes that you see here. As we scroll down, you can see a little example image of each theme to choose from. We can also choose from the popular themes, which are here in this tab, and that's what we're going to do. We're going to choose the Sydney theme, which we're going to preview first. You can click here and see what it will look like on your site before you commit to installing it. So we like this theme, and we're going to take it. So we're going to click Install. You can see it installing here. And once it's installed, you're going to click Activate to activate the theme and make it live on your site. To take a look at what our site actually looks like with the new theme, type your domain name in the address bar and hit enter. I typed in favepuppy.com and now we can see the new theme is live on our site. Now we're going to change the home page image. I'm typing royalty free puppy images Pixabay into Google so I can find a puppy image that is royalty free and available for free unlimited commercial use for my site so I won't be breaking any copyright laws. I like this one and it's free for commercial use with no attribution required. So we're going to download it, a cute little puppy in the mug, and we're going to also save the image, name it a recognizable name, and save it to the desktop so we can find it easily in a second. Now go back to the dashboard of your site and click Customize Your Site. Now we're going to go to header area, then click header slider, and then click change image. Now go to upload files, select files, and go to where you saved your image. For me it was on the desktop. So find and select your image, and then click open. Once you have your image, type in a title and alt text for SEO purposes and then click Choose Image. Now we're going to make the slider display only one image. Scroll down and click Remove to remove the second image. Now delete the default 4000 slider speed and also check Stop Text Slider. Now we are going to change the home page text. Staying in the same area of the dashboard, Go to Title for the first slide and modify it to be the name that you would like. Then go to Subtitle for the first slide and do the same thing. Now go to Title for the second slide and Subtitle for the second slide and delete both areas. To save your work so far, hit Save and Publish. Now we're going to change the site tagline and logo. In your dashboard, click Customize Your Site. Now click Site Title, Tagline, Logo, and you can edit your site title there. You can also edit the tagline. I'm saying that my tagline is the best puppy site. You can also upload a logo below if you so choose. Now hit Save and Publish. Now we're going to add your first page. Go to your dashboard and click Pages, then click All Pages. Once you're here, you can scroll down and delete the sample page by clicking Trash. Then you can scroll up and click Add New to add your new page. 
you can type a title for your page. I'm calling mine First Puppy Page. And then you can put some content down below. I'm going to add a photo, so I clicked Add Media. You can select a photo and add it below. My text got messed up, so I'm going to cut the puppy and move it up to the top of the page to rearrange the text. Now we're hitting Publish to publish our first page. Now we're going to add our first post. Click Post, then click All Posts. Scroll down and click Trash to delete the sample Hello Word post. Now click Add New to add a new post. So you can scroll down and add your title for your new post. I'm calling mine First Puppy Post. And then you can put some content in the post area. I'm adding media again, so I'm clicking the puppy in a cup and we're putting that in. It looks good, so we're going to hit Publish. Now we're going to edit the site menu. Go to the dashboard and then click Menus. Now scroll down and click to rename the menu so you'll recognize it. And now you can edit the pages that are in your menu. Currently the first puppy page is in your menu, which is perfect. So we're going to click Create Menu to create the menu. Anytime you want to add a page to the menu, you'll have to go here and add it to this menu structure. Now we're going to click to automatically add new top level pages to the menu, and we're also going to click so it displays in the primary menu. Now hit Save Menu. You can see how the site goes from having no menu in the upper right to refreshing the page, and now you have the home and the first puppy page in the menu, and we can scroll down and see the rest of the site so far. Now we are going to change the header image that appears on the pages and posts. Go to the dashboard, now click customize under appearance, go to header area, go to header media, then click add new image. You're going to select an image that you want to use for your header select and crop it to your liking and then click crop image and now you have your new header so you can hit save and publish now you can click on the, any page in your site and you'll see your new header proudly displayed now we're going to edit the footer and get rid of the pesky wordpress and theme display at the bottom of your site to do this, you can go to Appearance and then Editor. Now scroll down on the right hand side and click Theme Footer. Pause right now and before you do anything, copy and paste the original footer code into a Word document so you can go back and copy and paste it into this document if you have to start over. First, scroll down and delete proudly powered by text. Now delete the Sydney text and delete the WordPress text. Don't delete any of the apostrophes or any of the other symbols. Now delete the standing line there and put in what you want your text at the bottom of your site to say. So I'm putting in our puppy site. Now delete the theme colon, delete Sydney, and delete A themes. Now delete Sydney. Now delete the period there and only the period. And lastly, delete the BY right there. Now click update file. If we check out the site and scroll to the bottom we can see that our footer now says our puppy site. Let's take a look at how we modified the theme at the before and after. Here is the original Sydney theme and now I'm going to refresh the page and we can see here's our new puppy site customized to our liking and I hope that you love your new customized site as well.
Thanks for watching today. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you learned something new. Please like this video and also subscribe below for more content. And I'll see you next time.